this is the mode that we're gonna be using. The only thing that has happened in this one is that I, I put the first layer of resin. And as you can see right here, I have the 3D printed Pokemon logo. This guy was designed on Fusion 360 and I 3D printed it on my Anycubic Mono X. I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description for you if you wanna check the printer for yourself. And it looks very nice. The resin is Syria Tech Fest. I'm gonna be painting this one with the classic blue and yellow. I'm gonna be painting the whole thing blue with the airbrush. And after that, I'm gonna be using some mica powder combined with some resin. And we're gonna pour that one inside of each of the letters. Now we're gonna be painting the awesome Pokemon logo. I want to tell you, don't be scared of the airbrush. It's a really nice tool to use. Give it a try if you want. You can just buy a cheap one and start painting with it. You can buy a cheap kit. I think you're gonna enjoy it if you love projects like this one. So now that we've finished with the painting, um, we're gonna proceed to use the resin. We're gonna be combining some yellow pigment and some mica powder to give it a really vibrant color and you're going to be pouring it inside the logo don't worry about the blue in the background because i'm pretty sure you're not going to see it now to inject the resin on the letters i'm going to be using a syringe just to make sure that i don't spill anything where i don't want it to be one is ready to go we are going to be waiting around three to four hours to let it hard a little bit and then we can move to the next step but for now see you in a moment and it's now hard enough for us to go to the next step and remember this one has already one layer of clear resin and that is the the reason for that is we want this to stay in the middle and not sink inside and we're going to put it in the middle the resin ready here to go you're going to put it in really slow you don't want to create any bubbles in here, like nothing at all. We want a really nice clean cast of this Pokemon wrist rest. Now we're gonna wait three to four hours and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pour the next and last layer. That layer is gonna be another 150 grams, I think, probably. And after that is done, we're gonna be putting some alcohol inks in the top of it. And it's just gonna look really, really, really amazing. And for the last layer of the resin, that is gonna be the background of the logo. We're gonna be using some of this white and red alcohol inks. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing exactly yet, but let's try it and let's see how it looks like. And we're gonna start pouring from the corner. Now I'm gonna be starting with the alcohol inks. We're gonna start with the red one. Now it's time to let it dry. I will see it in 48 hours. After 48 hours, we're ready to demold this one. There you go. It is. Go 
completely done. Let me just turn it on like this so you can see it better. Oh man, it looks really, really good. Other than that, that bubble right here and this bubble, this huge bubble right here, it looks amazing. This one is going for myself, so I don't worry a lot about that. I'm still learning and this is something that you can learn from too. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one. I really like it. And if you would like to buy something like this, maybe some color combinations, give me some ideas. I will look into your comments. Please let me know. My name is EJ and I will see you all next time. Bye.